cloud of volcanic gas and debris begins to roll down the slopes of Mount Vesuvius. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 deadliest volcanic eruptions. The shock waves reverberated around the entire planet seven times. In 1257, a volcano exploded and blasted its contents, including poisonous gas and ash. Mount Pele is the youngest, still active, and still capable of a strange type of eruption. For this list, we're looking at the volcanic eruptions and disasters that have the highest death tolls throughout human history. Let us know in the comments which ones you'll never forget. Number 10, 1902 Santa Maria eruption. As one of the largest volcanic eruptions in the entire 20th century, the eruption of Santa Maria left a mark on Guatemala that the country will never forget. Lying dormant for centuries, the volcano had an explosive awakening in October 1902, releasing almost two cubic miles of magma as it did. For almost three weeks, the volcano continually erupted and produced more and more debris, creating a vast crater that continued to erupt on and off for the next decade. It's estimated that as many as 6,000 people lost their lives to this particular eruption, and many survivors were forced to work for free to help with the recovery effort because of the government's terrible response to the disaster. Number 9. Kaludz 1586 Eruption This Indonesian volcano is one of the many in the region that has been historically devastating. Located on the island of Java, it's over 5,600 feet high and has been active for hundreds of years, with notable eruptions occurring many times in the last millennium. What makes Kalud particularly dangerous is that its crater contains a large lake. Far from the water neutralizing some of the effects of a fiery eruption, it creates lahars, which are extremely deadly and fast-moving mud flows. In fact, some of the fastest lahars reach speeds of over 20 miles an hour and are hot enough to boil water. Kalud's deadliest eruption claimed the lives of 10,000 people in 1586, though it's had dangerous eruptions as recently as 2014. Number 8. Mount Vesuvius Today, Mount Vesuvius in the Bay of Naples remains an active and dangerous volcano, and the surrounding area is one of the most densely populated volcanic regions in the world. But though it's had eruptions since, it remains most famous for the eruption in 79 AD that wiped out Pompeii and the neighboring town of Herculaneum. Both were completely consumed by the volcano's ash, which reached the settlement so quickly that people were frozen in time trying to flee. Smoke and ash, debris started to fall on Pompeii. They probably had no idea exactly what was happening. It's arguably the most famous eruption in history, and it severely affected the ancient world, killing as many as 16,000 at the absolute highest estimates. Very few were able to escape. There were six surges of hot gas that flowed down and instantly killed with the heat whoever was left. Number 7. Mount Unzen As recently as the 90s, Mount Unzen on the Japanese island of Kyushu has produced terrible eruptions, with the 1991 eruption claiming over 40 lives. Mount Unzen serves up an extravaganza, some 35 pyroclastic flows a day. But its deadliest eruption was back in 1792, where the volcano itself was the least threatening part of the disaster. That's because Mount Unzen's eruption that May triggered two earthquakes and a mega tsunami. Something triggers a pyroclastic flow about 10 times bigger than all that came before. Tectonic instability led to the earthquakes and a devastating landslide, which in turn caused the tsunami to form very close to the shore. The waves were over 300 feet high at their peak, and of the 15,000 dead, it's believed two-thirds were killed by the tsunami alone. Number 6. Mount Samalas. 800 years ago, this explosive eruption on the Indonesian island of Lombok had devastating consequences for huge parts of the planet. And Mount Samalas collapsed? Rocks flooded down in Rome. On a local level, many towns and cities, including a former capital city, Pamatan, were destroyed by lava and debris. Since the eruption was so long ago, it took geologists a long time to fully understand the science of what happened on Lombok. 
And a lack of historical records means we're still not sure precisely how many people died in Indonesia. All houses were destroyed and swept away, floating on the sea, and many people died. But we do know that it caused thousands of deaths as far away as Europe and the Middle East, when a volcanic cold snap led to widespread famines in the 13th century. To the experts, it looks like Mount Somalis once stood next to Mount Rinjani. Number five, the Minoan eruption. The oldest eruption on our list, the Minoan eruption happened in the 17th century BC, around 3,700 years ago. A few months later, things got really nasty. The effects of the eruption can still be seen today in Greece's Santorini Caldera, north of Crete, which is actually still active to this day. Not too much is known about the eruption because of how long ago it was, but it's believed to have caused around 20,000 deaths, as well as potentially causing the downfall of Crete's ancient Minoan civilization. The eruption of Thera was a true cataclysm. The Minoans existed in the Greek archipelago for thousands of years before declining and ultimately collapsing. Some have even suggested that Plato's Atlantis allegory of a vibrant city being violently plunged into the ocean could be about the end of the Minoans. The eruption of Thera is one of those epoch-making catastrophes that can change the course of human history. Number four, the Armero tragedy. Again, fast-moving and vast lahars caused by a volcanic eruption were the most dangerous thing of all when the Nevado del Ruiz volcano erupted in Colombia in 1985. The Arenas crater, 16,000 feet above sea level, erupted. Though there had been some warning, the evacuation effort from the government was too little too late, and over 20,000 people tragically lost their lives, primarily because of the mudflows. They reached maximum speeds of 30 miles an hour, much faster than even the most exceptional athletes have ever run, meaning that many of Armero's citizens had no way to escape. The mudslides reached the city of Armero, 30 miles east of the crater, at a speed of perhaps 25 miles an hour, covering the city in mud. The majority of the townspeople perished during the disaster, which was widely blamed on the Colombian government failing to address the volcano's looming threat. After the disaster, hospital preparedness plans were updated for such cases. Number three, Mount Pelé eruption. This was the 20th century's deadliest volcanic event by a large margin, leaving around 30,000 people in Martinique without their lives. Like a nuclear blast within minutes, 30,000 people lay dead. Other than many of the mountain's native species fleeing, there was no real warning that Mount Pelé was going to erupt, which prevented any evacuation effort and was a major reason why so many people died. In fact, many scientists actually said beforehand that there was no danger of the volcano erupting anytime soon. But it wasn't just the number of deaths. It was the fact that an entire town was transformed into a smoldering shell filled with corpses. Eruptions lasted for months, and even to this day, many parts of Martinique remain ruined. There's now a museum dedicated to the tragedy that has been unmatched for the last hundred years. No volcano in history had ever been so thorough in its devastation and yet so selective. Number two, Krakatoa. On the 27th of August, 1883, the uninhabited volcanic island of Krakatoa blew itself out of existence. The explosive eruption on the island of Krakatoa in 1883 is thought to be the single loudest sound ever heard by human ears, and it was heard around the entire planet before we had a way to transmit information so quickly. Almost the entire island of Krakatoa was destroyed in the explosion, and millions of tons of sulfur were released into the air. The eruption was so loud, the sound was heard over a twelfth of the Earth's surface. So much volcanic material was ejected that for a time, the sky was so obscured that the moon appeared blue. 36,000 people died in the blast, and the global temperature dropped for a few years. Today, the caldera left behind by the 1883 eruption remains volcanically active and potentially deadly. In the middle of the old caldera lies Anak Krakatau, the child of Krakatoa, and it's active and growing. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number one, the year without a summer. 
There's so much speculation on how much a future supervolcano eruption might affect the weather, causing a so-called volcanic winter because of the large quantities of ash. But we've already lived through such an event, when Indonesia's Mount Tambora volcano erupted in 1815, which caused a global drop in temperature the following year so severe that the summertime saw snowfall in the U.S. What follows are cold spells, bad harvests, and the biggest famine of the 19th century. Most of the deaths happened in Indonesia itself, where estimates range from as low as 71,000 to as high as 250,000, with many figures in between. But even with the fewest estimated fatalities, Tambora still killed more than double the number of people Krakatoa did, making it indisputably the deadliest volcanic disaster in recorded history. Tambora's effect on the climate lasted for generations, shaping the Industrial Revolution and causing widespread political and social upheaval. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.